Hey, I'm Nick Tarasio. I'm here with Ben Ueda, and today we're going to go flying. Where are we going exactly? We're going to go see my friend Jimmy Duresta in upstate New York, and then we're going to Boston, and hopefully a little bit of a flyover over one of the buildings I designed. Awesome. Looking forward to Let's it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, shit, I said the same thing as you. So Ben is a YouTube influencer, he's an architect, uh, and he, he does a lot of different stuff. He's just a general creative and builder maker kind of guy. Uh, he has a channel called Homemade Modern where he basically shows people how to make furniture or appointments for their house that are Ikea prices but all customized and you actually make it yourself, which is very cool. When we launched this project, we were trying to figure out who do we know that has a similar audience of people that are really interested in machines and travel and adventure and building and all that kind of stuff. So one of my friends uh, had recommended that, that I speak to Ben and uh, he was like, yeah, I'm totally down. I'm actually going to be in New York that week to get a tattoo. And why don't we go and do some fun adventure, you know, at the end of my trip or something like that. And we wanted to go visit uh, Ben's friend, Jimmy, who's also a builder and a maker. How was the flight? Awesome, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Nick. you. Nice to see you. Where'd you fly in from? From Farmingdale, Long Island. You know, I grew up in Woodmere, Cedarhurst. How'd you end up here? Uh, I bought a house up here in 2004 to move out of the city. Yeah, I bought the house and I just had to stay exactly the same. So the house has been like my kind of weekend getaway until more recently. Yeah, I'm excited to see your rural existence. I've seen your little dungeon, <laughs> basement, hellhole, awesome, Imagine like a the tinkering sun. shop. Yeah. <laughs> so Jimmy ended up meeting us at the airport you know, told us a little bit about the town, which was actually interesting in of itself. I'd, I'd never been up there and kind of gave us backstory of kind of the, the way the town runs. So he took us out to this amazing deli. Uh, just, I mean, everything, it's all like craftsmen that live up there. It's all these people with incredible building skills. Even the deli had this like amazing, uh, super elaborate woodwork and, and it, was, it was just mind blowing. Uh, and then he took us over to his house, which is this like old 1800s vintage farmhouse. Uh, and he just filled it with all these really cool antiques and, and just the most random stuff he's collected throughout his life. Right now we're out front of Jimmy's storage space and kind of general workshop that he's building up. And uh, Ben and Jimmy are inside. Uh, ben is doing his podcast, which is called Modern Maker. And Jimmy has a podcast called Making It. So uh, these guys are inspirational on a lot of fronts. I didn't think of doing a podcast, but I think I might like to. I'm currently sitting uh, around a mic. The <laughs> mic is on a Home Depot, let's do this bucket, appropriate. Right. And probably a 50 to 100 feet away from us is a wicker casket <laughs> that in. possibly held a dead body at some point. It probably held probably 100 or 200 dead bodies. Because it, it was almost like a stretcher. It was well, like yeah, a closed exactly. stretcher for right. his... And the reason they were in a wicker, I did some research when I bought it. Uh, the reason the wicker is because it's pliable and that was a lot, you know, it's used Breathe, quite a bit. Breathable. It's breathable and it keeps the flies off of the people because it's basically oh. like a net bag over of somebody. I hear you talk on the podcast, uh, the Making It podcast, which big fan of. You often reference Casey Neistat as like being like an influence and stuff sure. like that. Yeah, he's been a huge influence on, on many of us, I believe. Do you see yourself like sort of like transitioning into, I don't know if it's like a storyteller, a, a, a filmmaker, in addition to sort of maker, or do you I just see that as just an extension of communicating the core? I think all of the above. I think, I mean, I really do sometimes get into the interstitials in my videos, like just taking time and waiting for the pets to do something interesting mm -hmm. and, you know, playing with the chickens and, you know, finding those little tidbits that I get a really, I get a huge response from. I'm used to being in a business where, I mean, competition's friendly to some degree, but it seems like it's so different when competition in this industry really sees it more as a like collaboration and it's like how do we support each other and lift each other up. So it's just really different to see kind of that collaborative spirit and that appreciation for each other, which is really inspiring because it's more the way I like to be with like the creative stuff, like musicians. Like, you know, you're not going to be like, don't play with my band because you're going to ruin my vibe. So it's very cool to see that. It makes me want to get further into that. After this, we're going to go 
back to the airport. We're gonna fly over uh, Ben's home. That it was one of the, the first big commissions he got. We're gonna fly over the home on the Cape, and then after the Cape, we're gonna go over to Boston to go to the Autodesk Build Lab. Ben does some work in there, so it should be really cool to see that. So it's just like a crazy day of. Just like the stuff that I nerd out about. Again, I'm a, I'm a mechanic and an avionics guy, so I get excited when I see crazy machines and printing presses from 1863 and all that kind of stuff. We're just about to wrap up and go back to the plane, so let's get on the way. Yeah, here we are, we're in Freehold, which was amazing when I got the note from you guys this morning that you were gonna be landing in Freehold and you were gonna maybe rent a car or get a taxi, I'm like, I'm literally like a five minute drive from here. Part of the reason why I love to fly, it's just such a pleasant experience. Mm -hmm. There's no bullshit to deal with, there's no security. Yeah. We land at this beautiful little strip. It's really part of the reason why I love flying so much is that we get access to things that, you know, people say like, oh, it's not as fast as a jet. I'm like, that's true, but I just saved 30 minutes driving. Well, good luck and I wish you guys the best. Yeah, going thanks back so much out. for opening your place up. Excited. We're flying over Cape Cod, which is like the site of a lot of my first architectural projects. So this is the area where I essentially got my first big breaks in design. So I'm always a little nostalgic about this area of the country. Did you actually spend a lot of time on the Cape yourself? Yeah, yeah. So you'd come out and really like survey the site, really try to take a lot of photos, really figure out how the building's going to get situated into the piece of land. Yeah. There's also permitting meetings, you got to meet with local contractors, you got to come through and do construction inspections to make sure the construction company is really building the way you designed it. All right, we're about four minutes away from the location. I believe I've got it pegged. Oh, nice. So you actually put like a little pin on the thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where it is from there. You see it out there? Yep, there it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, awesome. Never seen it from the sky. Oh, we actually nailed the location. Yeah, that's perfect. There's two sliding silver boxes. Yeah. That's awesome. Right now we're in the Autodesk build space. So Autodesk makes all the design software that I use and they picked a handful of uh, designers and makers to be builders and residents. So basically they gave us access to all this stuff for free um, and almost treating it like an incubator space and just saying, you know, what can you come up with if you have unlimited tools? And what they get out of it is they get us sort of experimenting with their software and these the interfaces between software and these like really incredible uh, pieces of hardware. So what's the material that actually comes out of that nozzle? It's like something, that's what actually what their research is, they're developing it. It's like a this biodegradable plastic. So you do giant public art that then sort of just blends into the landscape and yeah. disappears without harming anything. And then you're saying like that thing you could put on a lot and it would just 3D print like a right. foundation. So you would drop down those like those feet it would lock into a coordinate and then that arm can just keep shooting you can uh, pump like a concrete slurry or something and just keeps laying down it in a very accurate pattern. Basically they gave us like the Tony Stark workshop that I've always wanted since I was a kid. Yeah. Probably the standout moments for me on this were getting to be around equipment from the early 1800s, the Gilt printing press, for example, and then simultaneously seeing stuff like laser cutters and like Autodesk's crazy robotic arms and stuff like that. So it was this crazy juxtaposition of the old and the new. At the end of the day, it's all really about what we create in the world, and we've always been people that were drawn to tools and creation. And as the world is changing, and we see like a lot of the white-collar jobs are being outsourced in the world, 
it just made me realize that people like this, the creatives, the creatives have a future because there's always going to be a need for creativity. I realize guys like Jimmy, guys like Ben, they're going to be around for a long time and I'm, I'm hoping to be on that side of the curve. Thanks for uh, getting me home in one piece and everything. It was Absolutely. A pretty epic day and I'm glad I got to show you a little bit of where I work and what I do. Super awesome. Yeah, I mean, you were a good sport in the plane. I appreciate you sharing and not throwing up. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm just thankful you didn't make me hurl. <laughs> All right, man. Fly safe. Hey, hey, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a ton of fun making it and traveling around. Don't forget to follow Ben and Jimmy. You can check out their links below in our description. If you'd like to have anyone specific on the plane, if you'd like to see us potentially do an adventure with someone, please comment below as we'd like to figure out who you'd like to see on the plane. Thanks again, guys. Stay tuned for our next episode.